Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a four box break, a quarter of a case, four box break of 2022 Panini Phoenix football. Pick your team number 11 from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. The final four boxes of this particular case is loaded up already. Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Final four boxes break 12. Um, if you missed your teams this time, don't miss out next time. All right, and a little promo to get this break across the finish line. We were just down to our last handful of teams or so. We pulled the Bears and we pulled the Eagles out of here. And I said, we're going to give them away to the, peop to the people. And the that left four teams left. I said, we'll give them away to the last four teams purchased. All right, winner take all. Zachary got three spots. Oliver snuck in there with a spot as well. So let's gather these names. New dice, new list. And it's just a quick little winner take all. So name on top, we'll get a couple extra teams after six. Six and a six, 12 times. Name on top after 12. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12th and final time. After 12, Zach definitely had the odds on his side. Congrats to you, Zachary. You get those two extra teams. All right, now let's print and rip. I actually need the title of that spreadsheet. There we go, the workbook title. Let's print and rip. Good luck, everybody. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Rock your body. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks again, everyone, for making this happen. Appreciate everybody getting in on a Tuesday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Tuesday night with me. Two Tuesday. Big new release day tomorrow. Immaculate football drops tomorrow, so be sure to take a look at that. I like the design of Phoenix, a lot of, a lot of parallels here. It's pretty solid. Yeah, Gilo, Gabe has the Saints looking for a little Olave. We'll have a uh, Derek Carr throwing to him now. What do you think about, uh, what does everyone think about Daniel Jones and his uh, big contract? Seems like a lot, doesn't it? But I suppose, you know, I suppose that's just the market rate of, uh, of young quarterbacks these days. Yeah, you kind of had to do it, right? Yeah, Brow Daddy in the chat or in the Twitch stream is like, man, that's a lot of money for Daniel Jones. But I mean, what else were the Giants going to do? Were they going to draft another quarterback, start over again with another QB? And they're kind of in a in a tricky position. I feel like they couldn't really. Here's Fire Forge Brett Favre to 175. What are they? What were they going to do? They kind of had to do it. Otherwise, they draft a quarterback again. Do the QB process all over again and then, then have to face another, you know, face another moment where they have to, they might have to pay for a quarterback. There's Jameson Williams to 50 for the Lions. That'll be for James. The Brett Favre goes to Joseph K. Uh, Desmond Ritter will go to Rick T. Yeah, and then there's Lamar Jackson's quarterback situation. What's going on with that? Rick T with Desmond Ritter. Now I I heard that uh, the Falcon were the Falcons maybe in on 
chasing after Lamar Jackson. There's Damian Pierce to 150 Texans. That'll be for Howard. And we've got a Malik Willis to 50. That'll be for Amanda and the Titans. So from what I and someone correct me if I'm wrong. So from what I understand, there are two different franchise tags. There's the exclusive franchise tag, then there's the non-exclusive franchise tag. The Ravens hit Lamar Jackson with the non-exclusive franchise tag, which means that uh, teams can make an offer to Lamar Jackson. The Ravens can match. If they don't match and let Lamar Jackson go, they can get two first-rounders as compensation. Here's a nice Brian Robinson Jr. for Patrick. 50 out of 99. So now what, now, now what do you do? How many teams are going to give up two future firsts, probably this year's and next year's first round picks? There's Kayvon Thibodeau. And pay the, uh, pay the amount of money that Lamar Jackson, the, that, that he's looking for, which is going to be a lot. There's Hawkinson to 199 for Minnesota. That'll be for Zachary. And the Kayvon Thibodeau, he's pretty good. That's going to go to Oliver and the Giants. It's to 175, Oliver. Here's Malik Willis for the Titans to Amanda to 75. An all card ship in this round. Yeah, all card ship. There's Jalen Wiedermeyer to 250. Now the Ravens have said, oh, and a nice Kayvon Thibodeau autograph. Nice rookie auto. Oliver with the Giants. He's pretty good. 43 out of 50. So just an interesting, yeah, Raven tried making a deal for him for two years, which, yeah, with kind of a power move. I mean, there's risks there, right? He has been injured a couple times last year, although some may argue that he wasn't really injured last year and he was just sitting because he didn't want to get injured. You know, so I don't know. Is that? I feel like that relationship has to be soured now I mean short of short of the Ravens giving him a record breaking contract which is something that they may have to do you know just like the Giants had kind of had to do that deal with Daniel Jones what else were they going to do they can't really start from scratch but. but I don't know maybe that relationship soured maybe they'll they'll move on but I don't know what team is going to pay. You know, I don't. I think Lamar Jackson deserves a big contract, but adding the two first rounders that you're losing kind of puts other teams in a in a tricky situation. I'm sure other teams are happy to pay for Lamar Jackson, but Lamar Jackson plus two future firsts. Eee. That's where it gets a little tough. So a lot of teams that need quarterbacks, quarterback needy teams, how many teams are going to be making that move? Here's David Bell, two-color patch. Cleveland, this is for you. That'll be for Nate and the Browns. And Gabe was just mentioning the Browns and the Watson deal, I love that guaranteed money, kind of set a weird, a weird precedent as well. There's Garrett Wilson for the Jets to 150. What are the Jets going to do at quarterback? I think they were in. That card will go to Howard. I think they were in on the Derek Carr sweepstakes. And it sounds like Jets executives and maybe even the owner went to, I think, California to meet with Aaron Rodgers. Here's Drake London for Rick. 
So is that deal going down? And it sounds like the Packers, you know, it's not like they went, it was like a rogue meeting. I think the Packers gave permission for teams to, to talk to Aaron Rodgers. It's Javante Williams to 199. That'll be for Steve and Denver. So is that Aaron Rodgers deal going to happen? Here's Cameron Thomas. No, oh, not the Nets basketball player, but the Cardinals defensive end for Howard in Arizona. 20 out of 25. There's Devon Wyatt to 250. Speaking of the Packers, that'll go to Joseph. So some QB questions still in the air. I think Carolina had already said that they're not going to be in on the Lamar Jackson sweepstakes. Yeah, Ravens tag Lamar. Giants, I'm just reading the headlines now. Giants, uh, Jones gets a $160 million deal. It's Terry McLaurin. A lot of guarantees, too. Terry McLaurin for Patrick. Bucks continuing. Yeah, sources saying Jets meeting with Rodgers in California. Here's Fire Four, Randall Cunningham to 99. That'll be for Zach and the Eagles with the extra team that he won in that little promo. Yeah, he kind of met Deshaun Watson and his contract kind of messing some people up. It's two out of 125. And there's Jahan Dotson to 175 for Patrick. And there's a Kenny Pickett, rookie, jersey, and auto. Howard with the Steelers. There you go, Howard. Two eighty five out of two ninety nine. Got a Mike Evans to one ninety nine. Yeah, Jets probably does feel like a good landing spot for Rodgers. I mean, he still has, taking, taking a quick look at like the Jets depth chart. Right, and they, they've put, I mean, they've got the Offensive Rookie of the Year in Garrett Wilson. Right, the defensive rookie of the year in Sauce Gardner. Brees Hall, I feel like, was was on his way to, you know, getting some, some strong offensive rookie of the year consideration. They also got Michael Carter, so they got guys that can run the ball a little bit. They got Garrett Wilson, Corey Davis, Elijah Moore, Denzel Mims, who I think you know, that's a pretty good, I mean, look how Rodgers did with, I mean, I, I mean, I would say that receiver core is better than the one he had in Green Bay, right? So th that's already an upgrade. I'm sure those guys will be happy getting the ball thrown to them by, by Aaron Rodgers. I think they've got a decent offensive line, right? With like Elijah Vera, Tucker, Makai Becton, among others. And they've got a strong defense. All right, I don't know how many times we saw the Jets' defense really shine and, and the offense just be unable to score points. All right, 11-6 loss to the Dolphins. I mean, those games, like games like that, that can't happen. 19 3 lost to the Jaguars. Those, those are games, I mean. But what do they give up? What do they give up for, for, for Aaron Rodgers? Man, I would love to see Aaron Rodgers on the Raiders, Gabe. 
but I just don't think the Raiders have the I don't think they have the assets that they can move without sacrificing other needs on the team. There's Joe Burrow to 199. There's Devontae Wyatt to 199 for Green Bay. But yeah, I mean, that would make the AFC West pretty loaded, though. Joe Burrow's going to go to Kerr and the Bengals, and George Kittle's going to go to Chris and the Niners. Kyler Murray to 75. There's Aaron Rodgers right there. Christian Watson, 55 out of 75. Nice two-color patch. That's a catch. I'll give that a catch. That's going to go to Joseph in Green Bay. Not that they have bad receivers. Christian Watson actually looked really good as the season went on. Got a Mitchell Trubisky Steelers edition to 250. Marcus Mariota to 50. We got Troy Polamalu to 125. Troy Polamalu will go to Howard and the Steelers. And the Mariota going to go to the Falcons. That's for Rick. John Mechie, two-color patch, an autograph for the Texans, for Howard. Isn't Carolina looking for quarterbacks? Houston's looking for a quarterback. Rashad Bateman to 250. And we got a Malik Willis rookie autograph for Amanda and the Tennessee Titans. Nice. There you go, Amanda. Nice auto. Got an orange Davis Mills to 99. Now it does sound like to me, I guess Chicago's probably, the Bears are probably gonna, they're gonna keep Justin Field. They might trade that pick down or maybe just take whoever they think is best available, non-QB. Houston will probably take a quarterback, right? Colts will probably take a quarterback. I don't know, Seattle, are they sticking with Geno Smith? They may not take a quarterback in the first round. They might think, uh, you know, they might think maybe get a, get a later round quarterback that can marinate behind Geno Smith for a couple years or so. So they might look for that. My Raiders need a quarterback. I mean, we got to think that Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, 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 are gone within the first handful of picks. Probably Houston, probably Indianapolis. And then, if Seattle skips a quarterback, if Detroit skips a quarterback, that could be a Will Levis or an Anthony Richardson type player landing to my Raiders. It sounded like to me that my Raiders want to draft a quarterback but not necessarily have him start right away. Something like that. So it sounds to me they might like, I don't know, sign Jarrett Sidham to a year long deal. And then they draft a quarterback. Might be good to have Jared sit him in the quarterback room. 
you know, he's familiar with Josh McDaniels' system. He could probably, he'll be able to sort of teach that. Good to have him in the QB room. This is Zeke Elliott to 199. Not sure if Jared Sims is going to be getting starting jobs anywhere else from any other team. Stafford with the Rams, Steve. So it'll be kind of weird kind of training the guy that's going to take your job, but but hey, at least he's going to get starting time. Here's Mahomes to 10. Nice. Who's got the Chiefs? The world champs. Sean Robinson with that, with the Chiefs. Maybe, maybe we... A relative of Demarcus Robinson. D Rob. The champs. It's Troy Anderson to 25. Also, why uh <laughs> I don't know if Aaron Rodgers wants to come to the AFC West. He's gotta he's gotta face Mahomes twice a year. He's gotta battle Herbert twice a year. Nice Garrett Wilson, rising rookie. Your offensive rookie of the year, you got a piece of the pigskin, and you got his autograph. Garrett Wilson might have to work on that autograph a little bit. Might have to come to Jaspie's autograph camp. 146 out of 149. Howard with the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Here's T. Higgins to 125. That'll be for Kerr and Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati. Got Aaron Rodgers. To 150, Contours insert. And that's for Joseph and the Packers. I don't know, what would I do? But then again, how happy would Devontae Adams be if he has a rookie quarterback? I don't know. Does Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to go to the Raiders. That defense just needs so much work that... You know... I don't know. Maybe he'd want. Maybe he'd like that. It just it's like, hey, Aaron Rodgers, you get to throw fifty times a game. You pad those stats. <laughs> Trying to come back in fourth quarters of of games because the Raiders' defense can't hang on to it. And I think they're they're more than a, a draft or a Patriots. Karen, by the way, they're Karen Steele and Michael Carter for Howard. I think the Raiders are a little more than a draft and a free agent window away from revamping that defense. They probably need two. Just to get back up to the speed. And then they can start thinking of trying to create something more than that. 3 out of 35, Antonio Gibson. Orange ink autograph for Patrick and the Commanders. There's Aaron Rodgers again to 99. Flamethrowers to 99. Chris Olave Hot Routes Refractor. Chris Olave Base. And a Trey McBride, 47 out of 99. Three color. Jumbo patch, that looks like a catch to me. Howard with the Arizona Football Cardinals. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another nice four-box break in the books. That was 2022 Phoenix Football four-box picker team 11. The final four boxes of this particular case is in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.